Brunt here, Miss Wade Gourmet, and number two in the Hot and Fit 100, thanks to Inside Fitness Magazine. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, almond peanut butter cookies. So first off, we're going to start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. So bake, 350 start. Okay. Um, I actually got this recipe from the Oxygen Magazine last month. Um, and I just kind of altered it a bit to make it my own and add in some whey protein. So we're going to first start with uh, some almond butter. It's one cup of almond butter. I like to use the crunchy or you can use smooth. Um, make sure, check the ingredients on it and make sure it's only almonds and that there's no added um, oils or anything like that. Dump that in there and scrape it out. And three scoops of your favorite protein, chocolate, vanilla, or peanut butter. Today I used it, I used the peanut butter. And I've already got it all measured out there. So dump that in. And then I use six tablespoons of pure egg whites. Just gonna dump that in there. Kind of helps hold it all together. And then eight packages of Splenda. And I just use these little packages here. And then half a tablespoon, or sorry, half a teaspoon of baking soda. And a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. So put that all in a bowl together and mix it all up. It's going to be really thick paste. And that's what we want. So you can see it's getting thicker. Gonna keep mixing it. Okay, so you can see it's really thick. Okay, so scrape it off from around the edges. Form it into like a big ball inside of there, just like that. Okay, so next we're gonna take our baking sheet, which you can tell mine is very well used. Um, we're just going to take some cooking spray, some Pam, spray your whole cooking sheet. While your oven's preheating, uh, you're going to take a large spoon and just start taking spoonfuls of your batter. Just pile it that big and then scrape it onto your cooking sheet. left a little bit of room between each one because they are going to puff up a little bit. So I put them out and then I flatten them out a little bit. And next I've taken some 90% um, cocoa and I broke it up into little tiny squares or little tiny chunks and I'm just going to put one little chunk on the top of every cookie. Just adds a little something. The dark chocolate has a tendency, especially at 90%, to be a little bit bitter. So once they're done cooking, if you want to sprinkle a little bit of Splenda on it, you can go ahead and do that. It avoids the real sugars. Okay, just like that. Okay, so our oven's preheated to 350 degrees. So we're going to take our cookies that we set out and put them in the oven. And I put it on the middle, middle tray for about 10 to 15 minutes. You just want to uh, make sure that you turn your light on and watch them because they don't take very long and you don't want to overcook them or else they'll dry out. So we'll be back in a few minutes to see what they look like. Okay, so the cookies have been in for about 10 minutes. Um, I'm just going to open them up and check on them. Um, I just press on them and yeah, they're definitely done. So if you touch them and they're a little bit hard on top, you know that they're done. Um, you also know that they're done because if you look at closely, 
um, they're starting to turn brown on the edges, and you can tell my chocolate's melted. So they're all finished. I'm just gonna let them cool down, and then I'm gonna dive into them. So I hope you guys enjoy the recipe, and make sure you um, leave me some comments and let me know how you like it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.